Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 14 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to set the white and black point in your image. Now, most of you probably know that the white and black sliders are located in the basic panel of the develop module. Previously, I demonstrated two different methods to set the white and black point. The way I'm going to show you today is a lot faster and easier. Now, to refresh everyone's memory on those older ways, the first way I ever demonstrated involved holding the Alt or Option key in. Now, I'm going to adjust whites that older way. You hold the Alt or Option key in, you click down on whites, and you would drag that to the right until you got just a little color bleeding through, and then usually you would just back it off a touch and that would be setting the white point. Now you'd similarly do that for blacks by holding the Alt or Option key in and dragging the blacks to the left until you had a little color bleeding through. Now the second way I ever showed involved the histogram. You would clip, click on one of these clipping points to begin with. We'll do the whites first. So you click on that, make it active. Then you would drag the whites to the right until you saw red coming through the image. Then you would just back it off until the red disappears and that would be setting the white point. And similarly you would do that for blacks. You would just click on this triangle and you would drag the black slider to the left. Well, an easier way, a faster way, is to just hold the shift key in and double click on the word whites. It takes a second but it will automatically set the white point. Now hold the shift key in and double click on blacks and it automatically sets the black point. It really doesn't get any easier than that. Now, I get asked sometimes when to set the white and black point. Well, you should do it kind of towards the end of these what I'm going to call exposure adjustments. Any of these adjustments, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, even clarity, vibrance, saturation, do all those first if you're going to do a graduated filter in your image, do that. If you're going to do any brush strokes, do that. Then set the white and the black point. That will give you the most accurate white and black point. Now, another thing to know is that this method of holding the shift key in will work for all six of these sliders. But most of us only do it with the whites and the blacks. The reason being, the other sliders are more for our creativity. We're going to open up shadows or bring down highlights or vice versa to our own personal taste. Whereas the white and black point is usually kind of a technical setting. And it's easier to get that technical setting, in my opinion, by just holding in the shift key and double clicking on the white or the black. Word. You also could click on, actually double click on the slider itself. I found it's easier to just double click on the word whites or the word blacks. It does the exact same thing. The other thing I get asked sometimes is why don't I ever just use auto? And I don't use auto because auto will almost always move this exposure slider. And we as advanced amateurs and or professionals, we're usually underexposing or overexposing or exposing exactly on purpose. We're doing this on purpose. For instance, in this shot here, I purposely underexposed the shot because I didn't want to lose any detail in the sky. That is called exposing for the highlights. It's also called exposing to the left. It's just a method that we use to make sure we're not going to lose any detail in the sky. So if I would have clicked auto on this image, it definitely would have turned exposure to the right. And these settings would have been different. I prefer leaving exposure alone and opening up the shadows when I do this. Now, conversely, there's many times I expose to the right. That means I'm purposely overexposing the shot. There's something that is important that's in the shadows of the scene. So I'm exposing in the shadows. So obviously my camera is going to overexpose the shot. Then in Lightroom, I will go in and I'll pull highlights down. I might have to pull shadows down a little bit also. But whatever, I'm not really messing with the actual exposure slider. So that is why 
we don't usually use auto. I don't think I've ever used auto. And why we don't use this shift double click method on any of the other sliders except whites and blacks. Whites and blacks, that black point, that white point, are more of a technical setting and that helps you hit that technical uh, setting precisely every single time. So I hope that all made sense. I hope that saves everyone a lot of time when you're processing your images. I like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.